This video is being brought to you by BuyTwoWayRadios.com. BuyTwoWayRadios.com. Uh, go ahead and check them out. More on them in a minute, but first, this is my Baofeng UV5R. It's a dual band handheld ham radio. I first learned about this radio in 2016, and I could not believe that you could get a dual bander for around $30. That was crazy. I had bought my dad a ham radio in the mid 90s and it cost hundreds of dollars. I mean, I think it was over 500. So to get a handheld like this for around 30 bucks, crazy. Well, in less than one week, the radio was delivered to me and I had passed my technician's class license test, meaning I was a ham. Uh, it all happened very quickly and that was back in 2016. Since then, this has been a solid radio. I've taken it on trips, on the lake, uh, hikes, up mountains, uh, and it's always performed very well. I had always heard the rumors or hams talking about the dirty signal that Baofeng puts out, whether it be spurious emissions or bad harmonics, out of spec harmonics, but I did not want to believe that my radio suffered from those problems. That is until last November when I finally wanted to know for sure if my radio was putting out a clean signal. Uh, Don from my club, North Fulton Amateur Radio League, he hooked it up to a spectrum analyzer and unfortunately it failed. It had out of spec harmonics, meaning that when I was pushing this push to talk button, I was not only transmitting on the frequency I had selected, but I was transmitting on three or four other frequencies with various power levels uh, and I could have been causing harmful interference inside and outside the ham bands. So I decided not to transmit with this anymore. Ever since, I've been on the lookout for an inexpensive handheld that I could replace the Baofeng with, uh, and I'm happy to report I finally found it. It's this, it's the TYT THUV88. It's a dual bander, puts out five watts. It costs just about the same money as the Baofeng, and this one, I know for a fact, passes, uh, has much better filtering, and doesn't put out nasty harmonics. I'm going to do three things in this video. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the UV88. I'm going to compare it directly with the Baofeng UV5R. Then I'm going to get this on the air, uh, try to make a contact, get an audio report, show you that it works, and it sounds great. This should be fun. Let's get going. This TYT THUV88 is a dual band ham radio, a dual band meaning it can transmit on the two meter band as well as the ham 70 centimeter band. It has wider receive capability. It can receive on more frequencies than those. It can receive FRS, GMRS. It can even receive FM broadcast radio stations. So you can listen to your favorite radio station. It has a built-in flashlight. It has a power and volume knob potentiometer as well as a full keypad. Pad. Um, very nice screen, although it is only single color, but that'll make the battery last longer. In the package, when you get this, it'll come with this rubber duck antenna, as well as the battery pack, a charging cradle for you to put it in and charge it, and the power cord for that cradle. The instruction manual is actually really pretty good. Now, the good news about this radio is it shares a lot of, well, Specifically, it shares the mic and speaker configuration of the Baofeng. So if you have a speaker microphone for your Baofeng, you could use that on this. And if you had a headset or something else, uh, it would work together. All in all, I, uh, this radio feels really good in my hands. I like the look of it, and I think this is going to make a great replacement for my Baofeng. Now let's compare the UV88 to the UV5R. The first thing you notice right away is the... TYT is actually much taller than the Baofeng, but as far as their width and as far as their depth, they're very, very similar. Not much difference at all. They both transmit on uh, the same frequencies. The Baofeng, part of the reason it's illegal to sell this and import it in the United States is because it can transmit on a whole bunch of non-ham frequencies. Uh, this radio complies uh, with the new FCC standards and uh, you can only transmit on the ham bands with this particular radio. The rubber duck antennas are going to be very, very similar, but there is an important difference. Uh, if I take this antenna off, you'll notice that the TYT has a SMA male antenna 
and the Baofeng has a female. So if you upgraded your Baofeng antenna, you would have to get an adapter uh, to go from SMS female to male to be able to use it in the TYT. But like I said before, uh, you can use the same speaker microphone, a lot of the same accessories. Uh, the one thing I did find out is that I tried using my Baofeng programming cable on the TYT and it worked just fine. So I was very happy that I didn't need a brand new programming cable for the TYT. Speaking of programming, uh, most people use Chirp to program their Baofangs. Well, Chirp doesn't yet support the UV88, but the good news is there's free software from TYT to program this. It's free to download. And I used it, and it's just as easy to use as Chirp, maybe even a little easier. I'm not sure, but either way, it's free. There is a difference, another difference between these two radios, and that's the battery. Um, the Baofeng battery is a lithium ion. It's 1800 milliamp hours, and the TYT battery is actually a little bit larger capacity. It's also lithium ion, but it's 3200 milliamp hours. So I expect to get better battery life out of this TYT. Other than that, they both feel and look the same. Like I said, I like the feel of this TYT. I think it looks a little more professional. Looking forward to using the TYT. If you wanna find out how little this costs or you wanna buy one for yourself, head over to my sponsor, buytwowayradios.com. They've been in business since 2002. They have a fantastic range of products, all types of radios for businesses, consumers, amateurs, mobile radios. I mean, they've got it all. Most of their orders are shipped same day from their on-site warehouse, and they offer great pre- and post-sale support. They actually have licensed hams on staff that can help you with your radio if you need help. I can highly recommend them. Head on over to buy2rayradios.com. Check out the TYT UV88, and when you uh, buy it, make sure you put HRIA, Ham Radio in Action, HRIA as the coupon code, and you'll get 5% off your order. All right, let's get this TYT on the air and see if we can't get an audio check. K4 BBL, Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima, looking for an audio check on a new radio. Can anyone help me out? K4 BBL, looking for a radio check. K4 Bravo Bravo Lima, Alpha Julia 2 Yankee. AJ2Y, K4 BBL. How am I sounding? I got a new radio here, just curious how I sound. I think you sound great. Fantastic. Strong into the repeater and your audio sounds good. Uh, name is Joe. Uh, what's your name? Over. Hey Joe, my name's Brian. Yeah, I think I'm pretty close to the repeater right now, so that makes sense, but uh, I'm glad to hear my audio sounds good. What radio are you running, Brian? It's a TYT TH UV88, and I just got it. It's a handheld 5 watts, and uh, it's probably similar to the Baofeng, but it's got a clean signal. Ouch. <laughs> He says, looking at his Baofeng, uh, sitting on the table. Uh, well, you know, Brian, I'm going to ask you to return the favor. Uh, I've been specifically looking for audio reports myself. This is a, an antique here. This is an IC290, and I just put a uh, tone board into it, and I got a report of over-deviation, so I, I cranked the deviation down. How, how is my, my audio now, Brian? Over. Roger, there's some there's some static in the background. I don't know if that's coming off the repeater or off of your radio, but it sounds like a, a underlying kind of a, a static whine, maybe something like that. I'm not sure. It's not typical kind of RF static, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, the report I got before was that I had raspy audio. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just gonna uh, keep the repeater keyed. Uh, and with no audio, uh, uh, let, let's see what it sounds like. And I can hear just a little something in there too. So I'm gonna, you know, keep the uh, keep it keyed and no audio for a moment. K4 Bravo Bravo Lima Alpha Juliet Two Yankee. Back to you, Brian. 
Okay, so yeah, the static was still there. So it is coming off the repeater, not your rig. And I, I, your audio sounds good. I think I know what that other person was talking about with a little bit of a uh, swing in, in the audio, but I don't know what you've done, but you probably eliminated most of it because honestly, it sounds good to me. Okay, well, what I did is I cranked the deviation pot down, uh, you know, so I'm not deviating quite so much. Uh, I'm holding the mic and speaking about uh, two inches from it, which is the way I, my habit. And uh, when I was doing that before, I was getting a report that it, it was kind of raspy. And he recorded it. It was definitely raspy in the background. Uh, okay, Brian. Well, look, congratulations on, on the radio. So there you go. Two uh, audio reports uh, both ways. Thank you, and uh, congratulations on the new radio. Did you just buy it? Yeah, I just got it uh, this last week and, and programmed it up, and uh, yeah, so I'm excited because, like I said, it's uh, it costs uh, right about the same as the Baofeng, but I had uh, tested my Baofeng and it had a um, had bad harmonics, so I've been on the lookout for one that I know works better. Yeah, yeah, well, we've all got a Baofeng, too, and uh, just kind of dread that, I guess. Uh, you can't beat them for the price, though. Hey, Brian, thanks so very much. Enjoy the new radio, and I uh, look forward to speaking to you again. Uh, uh, K4 Bravo, Bravo Lima, Alpha Julia, two Yankee. Thanks, Brian. Uh, good afternoon to you. Yeah, 73 to you, AJ2Y, I believe, uh, K4 BBL. 73, I'm clear. So good audio report. I'm really happy with that. He sounded. He said we sounded great and we were getting into the repeater good. So that's with the stock antenna. So we did the three things we talked about, right? I gave you a quick tour of the TYT uh, UV88. We compared it side by side with the Baofeng UV5R and we got the new radio on the air and got a, uh, a good audio report from it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please consider that. And if you uh, got something out of this video, you know, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. 7-3, I'm K4BBL and I'm clear.